On May 7th, from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, the lineal middleweight championship of the world is on the line as champion Canelo Alvarez takes on challenger rising in weight Amir Khan. But before they ever meet in the ring, right here, right now, they face off. Gentlemen, welcome. And Virgil Hunter and Eddie Reynoso, their trainers, welcome as well. Thanks for joining us. Um, Canelo, all top fighters find motivation to keep fighting tough fights. What is your motivation for this fight? Todas las peleas para mí ganarlas es una gran motivación. Todo lo que traigo atrás de mí, todo lo que quiero lograr en este deporte es una gran motivación. Tengo hambre de triunfo y, y hasta que no me retire la tendré. Let's be honest. The, 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 the idea here is that Triple G is a very dangerous fight for you and that you're, that you're a real fighter too. You like fighting everybody, so you're going to fight that fight eventually. But before you take that kind of risk, who's the biggest name that you can get in the ring to make a big pay-per-view fight with on Cinco de Mayo, which is now your day. Amir Khan had the guts to come up and wait and do it. For this fight, you're expected to win, probably by knockout, but he's an excellent fighter. So there's a lot to lose for you. Why put yourself in that situation? Arriba de un cuadrilátero nada es fácil. Ningún oponente es fácil. No, arriba de un ring no sabes lo que puede suceder. Cualquier rival es difícil. Yo a Mirkan lo veo un rival difícil y me voy a preparar 100% porque sé lo que tiene. Y, y claro, tengo mucho que perder. Tengo mucho que perder en, en esta pelea. En cualquier pelea tengo mucho que perder. No una derrota, el orgullo, eh, mi país, todo lo que he venido haciendo. Siempre tengo que perder, ¿no? Pero nunca me enfoco en perder. Nunca en mi mente existe la derrota. Siempre me preparo para ganar, me mentalizo en ganar. Y el 7 de mayo es lo único que pienso, ¿no? En ganar, pero sé que va a ser una pelea difícil. Amir, you have been the favorite and the headliner since you turned pro. Yeah. You still see yourself as the star, and yet you come into the fight as an underdog. The boxing world sees you as the opponent. You, you got to be burning on some level about the fact that you're being written off by many in the, when you finally get the shot at the big time. Yeah, I mean, it does, it, does, it does upset me. I mean, it just makes me work even harder, to be honest with you, because it's the first time I'm going into any fight since I turned professional. I'm a big fan of Canelo. I think he's a great fighter. He's young and he's explosive and he's powerful. But then, you know, it's my time to show how good I am. Being the underdog is only gonna drive me even harder. Normally when you're the guy to win the fight, that pressure's always on you. But this time it seems to me that I don't have that pressure on me. You were the money guy at 140 pounds. You got with an offensive-minded trainer in Freddie Roach and fought in a style that the fans appreciated. But as a result of you fighting everybody and you fighting in a more fan-friendly style, you lost a couple fights. Here, you had an opportunity to fight Kel Brook. Uh, over on the other side of the pond. For more money, is that right, Amir? Yeah, you know, the way I saw this fight, is, it's a great opportunity for me to fight Canelo. He's a big name in boxing, and for me to reach uh, you know, where I want to get to in my career, I need to fight the biggest names in boxing. And I have to say, you know, Canelo's up there with those big names. Eddie, you brought him from nothing to this point. Um, but I think most people in boxing feel that he's supposed to win because he's a big, strong guy fighting a smaller fighter who has been knocked down and stopped in the past, and he should be able to impose his size on Amir. That means a more aggressive Canelo than we've seen in recent fights. Is that true? Eh, pues yo creo que lo, lo agresivo siempre ya lo trae un boxeador. Él es un peleador que, que le gusta ir al frente. Los boxeadores mexicanos siempre son agresivos contra golpeadores. En este caso, con Amir, yo creo que, que el hablar de un medallista olímpico, de un, un gran terreno amateur, habla por sí solo del currículum que tiene Amir. Sabemos que es un gran peleador, en el boxeo no hay nada escrito. Siempre hay favoritos, pero cuando suena la campana, para mí eso no existe. Amir es un peleador profesional, tiene un gran equipo. Como te digo, es un medallista olímpico, merece todo nuestro respeto y todo nuestro cuidado en el entrenamiento and win the fight is what we want. You said that, did you want to say, respond yeah, you know, to that? I find it a little disrespectful where people might be saying that, you know, Amir is going to get hurt in this fight, he's going to get knocked out in this fight. Um, 
I know I'm fighting a tough guy in front of me, and if I didn't believe in myself, and if I didn't think I was going to win this fight, I would never take it. Yes, I can get hurt in, this, in a fight like this, but I'm not going to go in there and make the mistakes I used to make. I mean, those days when I did get beat and I got stopped, I was young, I was only 24, 23, 24, 25. I'm 29 now. You know, I'm at my peak of my career. Um, you know, I'm more educated as a fighter, having a great trainer like Virgil in my corner. He's educated me instead of me using my fists all the time and my speed. I know I'm now throwing punches at the right time when it's when it makes sense to throw them shots instead of just throwing them without even thinking about them. To be an underdog in any fight, you know, that kind of drives me. Canelo, right now, you are the biggest Mexican star in boxing. You're also the biggest star in boxing in terms of the in, in terms of all the young fighters who, who are generating box office, you're the guy. Don't you have to do more than just win against Demir? Don't, isn't the boxing crowd and the Mexican fight fans especially, aren't they looking for spectacular fights and knockouts from you? Los días son muy importantes para mí, no? Las fechas tan importantes para, para nosotros los mexicanos. Obviamente, obviamente tengo que darles una gran pelea, por eso es que vamos a pelear con Amir Khan, porque sabemos que va a ser una gran pelea y les voy a, les voy a dar todo de mí como siempre. Yo soy un, un, un peleador disciplinado, un peleador que se entrega al 100% a lo que, a lo que hace, que es el boxeo. Eh, y voy a dar todo de mí arriba del cuadrilátero, ¿no? Para que la gente salga contenta y, y se sienta orgullosa de mí. Virgil, what made you think that Amir, who started at 35 and looked comfortable at 40 and then 47, outboxed some good fighters at 47, could then move up another, uh, more than one weight division, up to 55, to fight a big, strong guy like Canelo? If I'm not mistaken, Saul started at 140 himself. He had to grow into a middleweight also himself. He's a magnificent fighter. Personally, I love his counter-punching skills because that's going to ensure that he has a long career. Um, you can't walk everybody down, even those who might not be as strong as you. You bring up his counter-punching skills. Is that also one of the reasons you like the fight for Amir? He's more of a boxer than people realize, and that maybe helps Amir uh, coming up in weight for the first time, who, who wants to box and be mobile, not have a guy who's necessarily going to be breathing down his neck? I didn't, I didn't really look at it both ways, because if you're a pure counterpuncher, that indicates to me that you have great timing. And timing can beat speed. So it's not necessary for him to go and track everybody down. What does Amir do differently to give the impression to the judges in those close rounds and in those kind of exchanges that he's not the one disengaging, he's the one boxing? Well, the thing about Amir is you clearly see the punches that he's throwing and landing. Amir can bring several different punches out of his arsenal and then some that are not even taught. So I think that would be a bit indicator and also having the weaponry to offset a counterpuncher, he is going to have to adjust to his speed. But I'm not in agreement with his speed. I'm more in tune with his quickness as opposed to his speed. Speed in the body, quickness in the mind. So I'm more interested in his processing ability and to perform quickly as opposed to fast. So that's our goal uh, in the fight. Canelo, it's contracted for 155 pounds. But some speculate you'll come into the ring that night at 180 pounds. Where do you anticipate you are on the night of the fight? How much are you going to weigh? No, nunca mi vida he subido al cuadrilátero en 180 libras. Nunca mi vida. Realmente no sé. Siempre en 167. Alguna vez en 170 he subido a pelear. Pero nunca, nunca tanto, ¿no? Siempre tratamos de hacer las cosas bien también después del pesaje. Eh, no sé realmente en cuánto suba, ¿no? Pero donde me sienta bien, donde me sienta fuerte, rápido. Porque hay veces que haces todo bien y después del peso haces algo mal y es donde pierdes la pelea, ¿no? Nosotros vamos a hacer eh, y rehidratarnos como, como, como siempre lo hemos hecho y lo que mi cuerpo agarre, pero bien. 
Virgil said you're having to cut weight, not bulk up for this fight yeah. to 155 pounds. Where do you anticipate you're, you're going to be on fight night? What are you going to weigh? Um, I feel more comfortable at probably 160 plus. I'll, I will be walking into the ring up. Sounds like weight advantage, if you want to call it that, for Canelo. How does that play into the fight? The media makes more of an issue of it than uh, the fighters. Because he's a skillful fighter, I've never seen him use his weight to fight in that particular manner. Uh, I would like to be a fly on the wall, though, and see that incredible transformation, how you're able to put on 25 pounds in 24 hours. That's a lot of eating and drinking. Well, it sounds like 15 pounds from what we're being told, which is more <laughs> in line with what's... I believe he'll come in lighter. I think he will. I don't think, um, you know, weight is going to matter much. I mean, it's not like I'm going to trade, stand there in a, in a box and trade with him in the corner. You know, I mean, I've seen other fighters when the smaller guy won the fight. And what won the fight was not punch power, it was skill and speed. And, you know, I have that on my side. Eddie, if it's the case that he's up on points, you think in the corner, my guy may be down on points. Is there a certain point in the fight where you tell Canelo, okay, just go be the bigger, stronger guy, go get him? Eh, sí, hemos tenido muchas peleas que hemos estado en aprietos y gracias a Dios las hemos ganado. Va a ser una pelea donde los estilos van a estar tener mucho que ver. Amir es un peleador que va a tratar de salir a, a boxear, a hacer, a aprovechar su velocidad, pero Saúl también tiene velocidad. Es un peleador que sabe, sabe entrar a la distancia de, de cualquier peleador. Sabe trabajar mucho los tiempos y, y yo creo que, que va a ser muy importante del 1 al quinto round para, para ver qué, qué puede pasar en la pelea. Do you think you can knock him out? El knockout es impredecible. Eh, yo me voy a preparar para los dos asaltos y, y, y lo que se tenga que presentar en la pelea, estaré listo para cualquier cosa. Anything you want to tell Canelo? I mean, I'm going to be ready for the fight. I know people are saying that, you know, I'm not, I'm not big enough, I'm not strong enough. But, you know, we will shock the world come May 7th. And I'm going into this fight because I believe in myself. Thank you, guys. Thank you for being here today. And we all look forward to May 7th, lineal middleweight championship of the world on the line. If you're not in Las Vegas, it's live on HBO pay-per-view, Canelo versus Amir Khan. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us.